Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Thursday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, I know that's a running joke, like on the internet on this day. So, um, thank you so much for the positive response to yesterday's video. Bill and I, the ribbing, we, we kid like that, like all the time. He truly is one of the best people I know, and I'm so thankful every single day that he is my husband, even when I don't like him very much. You know, there are times where your spouse gets under your skin, right? But love him to death. He is so very helpful with all of my crafting, the diamond painting especially. He has been a huge, huge help in all of that. So I do want to show you first where I hung Queen of Hearts. So let's flip you around. She is hung right there. Doesn't it look so good? And what we did, and we didn't film this part, Bill has this level that is a laser. So what we did was that hook is at the exact height that that hook is at. So that's how we're gonna do it going around. So it looks equal. But um, it turned out so good. It looks so good right there. I love it. I love it so much. And I am hoping we'll get to start T Rose Ferry today because I'm off work today and getting things done. And it's only one o'clock, so I'm, I'm getting it, getting it done. So I did start reading a new book, and the title is called How to Destroy Your Husband. But <laughs> no, it's not like a it's not like an instructional book. Um, it is by Jess Kitching, and it's on Kindle Unlimited. And here is the premise. Cassie Edwards swore she would never fall in love. Then she met Jamie. He changed everything, and Cassie has never been happier. But with less than one month to go to her wedding, Cassie discovers Jamie is cheating on her with his colleague. Blinded by rage, Cassie makes it her mission to seek revenge on the pair. As her hunt for the truth takes her to some of the darkest corners of the internet, Cassie learns just how little she knows about the man she shares her life with. It leaves her wondering one thing, is Jamie someone she should destroy or someone she should fear instead? How far would you go to destroy your husband? It is quite the interesting book. So I'm already to the part where she's found out and instead of just confronting him. She is trying to find out all of the details before she confronts him. And she's finding out all kinds of stuff. It's so good. It's really good. Okay, so I did do some stitching yesterday. I stayed up very late. I stayed up later than I had intended. Watching the show Jury Duty, recommended by Jill. And it is on, it's through Amazon Prime, but it's actually through Freebie, F-R-E-E-V-E-E. -E -E. There are ads in it. Each episode is only a half hour. There's nine episodes. I have two left. I watched that much of it, but I got a good chunk of stitching done. Now, this only looks crooked because it's how I have it in the Q-snap. I could not get it straight. So I got the border done and it matched up. Let's go. If you're a stitcher, you know how much of a mon monumental celebration it is to have this border match up. Yeah. And then I got the first line of diamonds done because that's how I'm progressing with this. I'm Again, I'm going to do all of the diamonds and then I'm going to fill it in. And you know, going forward, I think that's how I'm going to do any Carolyn Manning. Because that, it works out. Like it, it makes it easier for me. So yeah, progressing, progressing all along the way. All right. Let's talk candy. Um, I love candy. My lemonade. Oh my God. We know this. Um, I found when I was shopping at Giant last week, there was this candy bar up by the register and I had tried this through Amazon and it is called Unreal. So this is the one that's dark chocolate, caramel, peanut, nougat. It reminds me of a Snickers. It is so good, It, but it's healthier for you. I think it's less sugar, less calories, less all of that stuff, but it tastes like a real candy bar. It's so good, highly recommend. Um, 
Amazon sells like the bag and I think in the bag like they're half this size but there's a bunch of them. I like this size. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I, I can't recommend that enough. Okay. I received, first off, let me say, I have been overcome today here like in the past couple minutes with just such an overwhelming feeling of gratitude for today, um, for my life, for everything. Because I think so many times we don't live in the present moment. Like I really strive to live in the present moment because that is where your life is happening, right? I think many times we're doing something and our mind is a million miles away. So we totally miss the act of whatever we're doing. Um, I wish I could bottle that feeling when I feel the way I have today for days that I'm struggling. You know what I mean? And try to remember it, but you can't. You just have to, anyway, try to stay in the present moment. Enjoy where you're at. Yeah. Okay, I had gotten a UPS notification yesterday that said a package was being delivered and I'm like, hmm, it wasn't my Diamond Art Club kit and I did not order anything. So I'm like, all right, the package came today. Oh my, my, Joanne, I gotta find the card. Joanne Helm, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna flip you around and show you the pile of stuff she sent me. Look at all that. Ah! So Joanne, I have the most generous and awesome subscribers. Joanne has sent me gifts in the past. Lots of really wonderful stuff. So she sent me a card and it's a Christmas card, which I just realized that. But on the inside, it says happy Easter, happy birthday, happy anniversary, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, happy new year. So I laughed at that. Um, I'm not going to get into it because it's private, but Joanne has been going through, um, some health things recently and it seems like she's on the mend. So Joe, I'm so very, I read your letter and I'm so very thankful that you were on the mend and I will pray. I will pray for you and, and wish for your continued recovery, but let's look at what she sent because whew, I haven't, she wrapped a bunch of stuff, which I haven't opened because I want to open on camera. But I wanted to show you now, these are all cross stitch patterns and they're all free ones. She said, look at all that. I love that one. Look at all this. I haven't had a chance to look through everything, but OMG. Yeah. A whole big binder full. And then she sent this binder and I feel like it's got scrapbook stuff in it because there's, I like the binder. Yeah, it. I don't know what that is. Oh, Velcro strips. Okay. Kit exchange. Oh yeah. It's a whole bunch. Oh, look at these stickers. Now this was stuff she said that she thought would do good for my junk journal. And you know what? I have missed putting stitching stuff in there. I feel like I need to do some little things and start doing stuff in my junk journal again to give myself a little break. I love those stickers so much though. And seriously, to not think about it, to not like, um, look at all these stickers, to not stress myself over it. Oh, I love these. Oh my good God. Yes. Look at these, these two and these, these are beautiful. They're iridescent. And so are these. Oh my God, I love all of these. They are going to go in my scrapbook containers. Yes, ma'am. Joe, thank you so much. I like that binder very much. Okay. Now we're going to open some stuff that she wrapped. Don't you love that wrapping paper? It's so cool. <gasps> Perforated paper. Let's go. And the 18 count. Oh, whoopsie. Yay. Can never have too much of the paper. Okay. Hmm. I 
can't imagine what this is. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, wait a minute. There was that. What? Okay, so she sent me an 8x8 eight eight Mill Hill frame. But there's a completed stitching piece in here, and I'm guessing this needs to go on the frame. Let's see what it says. Am I going to cry? I hope I'm not. trying to calm myself down here for a second so our little dog Layla we had to put her to sleep um I want to say it's been like four years ago now so this piece has Layla in the middle and she even did the brindle marking like Layla was and she has angel wings and it says it is extraordinary how little things become immeasurable love and it says dog is such a very small word for something that takes up so much room in your heart i am absolutely going to frame that and find somewhere to put that bill's gonna die when he sees this he will definitely tear up i think too um joe thank you so much uh, uh, besides everything else she sent this is going to be the thing that i treasure the most i had no idea she was doing this i i don't even really have words right now Thank you so much for that, as I try not to cry. Um, love that so much. I will probably try to frame that today, and I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Amazing. Okay, so Joe had also sent, I love this crate, by the way. I think I'm going to keep this and put it on my shelf up here and try to put maybe my diamond painting trays in it that I have from Nix's Notions or something. It's so rustic and cool. But she has a bunch of little wrapped up stuff in here. So... I, that stitched piece, I can't, I just have amazing subscribers and people in my, <laughs> remember the parrot scissors I bought? These I like even better. Is it a dove? What is that? I can't. These are so extremely cute. Thank you so much, Joe. I love these. I think that was the cutest idea. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Now this one. And I think we got some, no, I don't know if there's anything else to unwrap. Ooh, what is this? A tin? What is this? We're gonna find out because I'm gonna open it. What do you put in it? I can't open the paper. Okay. Ruby Star Society. It says Melody Miller on the bottom. And then it has that. Why can't I open it? It's just a tin to put stuff in? Hmm. I like stuff like that. What can I put in it? Could hide little secrets in it. <laughs> Candy. This one feels like light as air. So I'm very curious as to what this is too. It's a box. Wooden stand for crystal what? Oh, that was a that was a total that was a total um, misdirection because that's not what is in this box. She sent me a needle minder, and it is one that I don't have surprisingly because I have a crap ton. It's Slytherin, which is my Harry Potter house. Ah! Yeah, Joe, you have outdone yourself with everything you sent. And guys, that's not even all she sent because she's also sent this big crate full of stuff. Now, I feel like these are things, and I know her, her uh, thinking. Oh my, look at the stickers. Her thinking 
was um, junk journal. And I, I completely understand it because she sent a ton of those small free kits that come like on the front of some UK stitching magazines. And I will absolutely keep these and stitch these because this is something I can hold in my hand. This is something I could even take on the cruise ship and maybe stitch in the room. So this one is Winter Wishes and it includes literally everything in it. The floss, this, it has all of it. Winter Wishes, thank you, which I've already thought if I stitch this, it could be a junk journal entry as in thanking you guys just for being in my life and for watching the channel and all of the love and support that I have received. Look at that little bunny. All you need is love in the beach, yeah. Let me look at all these. I love, oh my God, look at these little guys. Are you serious? That one says we make a great pair. Oh my God. And it's the fruit. I'm dead. That's actually a needle book kit. Oh, Ooh, I love this one too. Let your light shine. And I love at the bottom how you have to do the fringe. That will be interesting to try to do that. There's more. She sent so much. I can't get over it. I'm going to pull them all out because, oh, wait a minute. There's like stickers and all kinds of stuff in the bottom. Wait a minute. Okay. So a couple more kits. <gasps> I love the giraffe bookmark. And then there's a, ooh, is it whole like, oh, it's just one design. T makes everything better. I'm a coffee girl, we know this, but I love all of that, Joe. Okay, so then she sent some more just sticker stuff. Whole bunch of stickers in there. Stickers, stick, look at these. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, these, I'm dead. These remind me of like the smelly, you know, used the scratch and sniff stickers we had as kids, but I mean, Look at all this. I haven't bought this kind of... What? This is a sticker? This is puffy. I need to stick it somewhere so where I can touch it. <laughs> and then... Ooh! I don't have... Look at the washi tape. It's glittery, silver, and then iridescent. Yes, ma'am. More stickers. Oh my God. That looks like a patch, but look, it's a diamond. Just a whole bunch of, like I said, luckily I have organization room in my scrapbook stuff. Okay. Here's another mini kit. More washi tape, a gold one. Oh, that's pretty cool. These are just some frames where I could actually put this around the stitching. Of course, big letter D's for my name. We're getting to the bottom. She sent so much. Oh, these are cute, like a pleak. You could, but I could just glue them down. And then just more tons of stickers. Let's go. Like, are you serious? And I love the crate. Like I said, I'm going to save the crate and definitely use them for something. So the last thing that I wanted to show you again, Joe, thank you so very much for all of that. That was such a joy to look through and open. And I look forward to flipping through the binder of cross stitch patterns, which I probably will do that today. Um, at some point, amazing, amazing items. Thank you so very much. So you know how I had the binder with um, the sheet protectors and the big label from Diamond Art Club that I wanted to keep because you can write the start date, the end date, it, and it's the key. And I wanted to have it next to me because sometimes it's hard to read the key on either side when you're diamond painting, even the way that I do it. So I wanted to show you what I came up with. So I got the diamond painting on my light pad. So we are all ready to go. But you see that? 
Okay, so on the inside door of here, I taped the page. So when I go to diamond paint, I just open this up and then I have the key right in front of my face. Is that not brilliant? I'm brilliant, right? Because I was like, oh, maybe I can tape it like on the table. But then I'm like, when I move the diamond painting, it's going to cover it to get to another section. And I went, let's go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. So let's uncover the first section. I want to see if I can grab my fingers on it. Wow, that is not cooperating. Let's see the first section. Ooh, there's already a rose in the first section. So that is actually, I think, a teacup. I can't wait. I love the rose. And I think I'm going to have to move that washi tape here on the edge because it looks like it's impeding on the... I'll fix it. But I love the rose. I love the pinks in this piece. I love it, love it so much. So I'm going to let you guys go. I have, hope you are all having a good week. Um, I wanted to let you know that there will not be a whip and chat this Sunday only because I'm going to a purse bingo with my mom and my sister and my stepdaughter. So I will not have time to do my normal video on Sunday. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.